Good afternoon. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I just got an email about Mardi Gras concerts, and I just do. I like Bell American Ajax. I do not see Macklemore. I am so sad. Gavin DeGraw is great. Why don't we all my cousins like them? Oh gosh. Thank you for visiting the website. Earth, Wind and Fire, cool. Diana Ross, cool. Chris Young, have I seen you before? Maybe. Dustin Lich, I've definitely seen before. Cool in the Gang, it's one of my mom's favorites. The Roots, I think that is the band that's on Jimmy Fallon. I truly, truly did not care about anyone but Macklemore. Well, it has been a chaotic afternoon for me. I was in the middle of a ton of work. I was like feeling really good. My computer had been running really slow and it finally stopped. I was right in the swing of things and our power went out. So I literally like couldn't get dinner ready, couldn't do any work, was like just starting to get ready, trying to plan a non-hot dinner to make because I'm picking up Peter from work. Um, and then just recently, everything decided just to turn back on again. So I went from my original plan of getting us ready for the afternoon to a totally off off the grid plan and then back to my original plan but now I just have way less time um, the expo is today for marathon weekend so that is why I drove Peter so we could get there right after work and I think I'm gonna prioritize making dinner so we can go I know Peter has some work he has to do tonight so worst case I'll just work tonight too I am going to show you tonight what I'm making for dinner. So I'm going to make this hearty spinach salad. I think I'm also gonna put some romaine lettuce in it. Um, it is going to have this quinoa and bulgur wheat mix in it. And now I'm frying up some chickpeas that'll also go in it. I added ginger, chili powder, and garlic to these. I want that these to be crispy. And then the salad will also have a yummy apple cider vinegar and instead of using honey I've been using agave nectar to make a sweet dressing um, salt pepper garlic oregano for that um, and then tomatoes apples cucumbers so just like a really hearty salad and then I'm also going to cook some of the sausages that we had from the other night as well on the side we really have to make sure that Peter is fueled for this weekend um, so that is the dinner plan. Hopefully I'll be able to get some work in before I go. So here is everything chopped up and in its place. I will eventually mix it. I'm just deciding on when if I want to wait until we actually eat to mix in the dressing or what. So I don't have any more agave nectar, so I'm going to make a brown sugar balsamic vinegar dressing. So it's equal parts balsamic vinegar, brown sugar, and olive oil. So I did mix it all together for ease while on the go. It looks messy, it tastes really good. I'm interested to see how the chickpeas taste they never got super, super crispy, but they are crunchy. Um, and so I'll mix that all up once, once we actually go to eat. Are you ready to pick up your bibs? I just got excited and nervous. I had a really bad day at work. Yeah. We're not talking about it anymore. I should do work tonight, but it's one of those things where like, I can't fix it all tonight, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to mentally bring myself down before I go back in the trenches tomorrow. Right. But this is your happy place. It is Dopey Weekend 2020. It is beginning. Look at it, look at it. Got my waiver. Let's do it. Raise bid pickup, and then there's Dopey. 
Wow. We got t-shirts. We got photo ops. We got bibs. All right, now over to the actual fun expo floor. Yes. But I got my bibs, so we'll put the, check it out there, 22144 if you want to follow along. We'll put the links down below. I think we went the wrong direction. All right, so I'm in Corral AA for, what is it, Thursday and Friday. Corral D for Saturday and Sunday, which I'm fine with because I can just get to the front of the corral like I did for wine and dine. But it's crazy that like my wine and dine time qualifies me for a B corral anytime going forward. So did you say we tried to get it switched? Yeah, I didn't think they would because the, I hear online that like I read online they're like sticklers. And the woman's like, yeah, no, like, we can't do anything for you. They're I full. Try. But we tried. Oh, ho, ho, this is an expo. 3.1, 6.2, run Disney. Then over here we got your 13.1 and your 26.2. Woo! Are you excited? Are you, are you overwhelmed? <laughs> so remember when I was upset kind of with Wine and Dine's expo? Look at this expo. Right, but look at that. This. This is an expo right here. You gonna get something for this? You get gloves, and I need a pair of gloves you know because it's cold. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. What's my favorite running accessory? Your sunglasses. And not only sunglasses, but gooders. Look at all these gooders. Not only that, it gets better. Look at all these. And these. And those back there. I've never seen these other styles. Yeah, you should get a pair. Remember when I had these gang green green ones and I loved them, but I lost them? Okay, I'm kind of a goof, and I, I thought our charity group, our ACS friends were here, but they're back over by Bib Pickup. So we gotta head back over there, and also go see the merch, too. And these medals. And these medals. Is that, Princesses. Is that Star Wars? That's not Star Wars 2020, is it? Oh. There's the princess, so I'm, I'm signing up for all princess, all challenge. The Star Wars virtual is nice, but I'm only signed up for the the half for Star Wars right now. That's the virtual half, and that's the challenge. Cool. And there's the other challenge, and then that one of Yoda right here. Five year, first perfect anniversary, but not for me. But I dig it, and these are nice. The princess. Woo. Can't wait. Sarah says she points up and says, "Show it." I honestly think this was the most beautiful medal of the whole series this weekend. And it's not ours. Not this year at least. I do like goofy a lot with the three circles. Alrighty, our last stop of the night is Merchandise. So we stopped by and talked to Jessica. Um, Heather wasn't there. She's setting up at Epcot right now. But we'll they're, definitely see them early. they're a little sneaky. Why? Because in that, I think the whole end game of that conversation just now was Jessica trying to get us to sign up for ACS's team for Chicago because they know I it wanted worked. to. They know I wanted to get into Chicago and I didn't. And they knew I was in the lottery and didn't. And they know we're from Chicago. But I don't know. You were kind of convinced back there. I kind of was. It's but just the one like. Who was like, oh, I could do it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Think about it. I just, she started talking, like we told her where we used to live on the, on, in Boys Town on Marathon Road and she's like, that's the best part. And she started talking about like the different areas during the run and I was like, I just, Chicago's always seemed like such a fun race even before I was a runner. Now that it's I'm a runner. So much fun to spectate because yeah. it's way easier to get around than Disney property and there's so many more places to spectate. And subways from. to take. Yeah. Some spots, but like Sarah could literally see me every like three miles and it not be an issue. Yeah. And actually be fun, we not follow like. Jenna. Yeah. So. Maybe. Maybe that's not until October. So we have some time. We would just have to fundraise, and the fundraising is they said seventeen fifty. Yeah. Is the minimum to fundraise? I think we could, think we could pull out another seventeen fifty. <laughs> what do you guys think? Could we? Could we? Could we pull another seventeen fifty out in the to American Cancer Society? You guys, let us know in the comments below. That'll dictate if I sign up or not. The goof is out. Oh, look at the sign. Sure, we need to I love really the big. colors. We gotta find the really big maps. We got a strategy. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen Run Disney ears before. One side has Magic Kingdom and Epcot. 
and the other has studios and animal kingdom. This is nice. And it's got dopey on there. I was Ooh. standing here just a second ago with such a goof. I was like, there's like so much purple stuff this show. Like, what's up with all that? And I realized we're in the dopey challenge section. So all that is dopey color. We truly aren't the best resource for looking at all of the different merchandise. There's so much. It would be a whole video just showing it. If I can find a good video, I'll link it up here for you to go and check out, see the different merchandise. The expo is open. Um, all weekend? All weekend. All weekend long. Oh, we're gonna um, show you. We are gonna show you one thing that we like. This little dopey number. Ooh, see, la, like, la. So, for me, run Disney merchandise, but I'm not see the full quality and phrase and falls apart. Or it's outrageously good quality. That's really nice. But it's $95. Do you think it was gonna be that bad? No. I thought it was gonna be like 70 but it is really nice quality and it's got thumb holes. Y'all know you're getting a little thumb hole action when you run. Get cold hands. I want to see the back again. I love this, like. Slanty. I couldn't. And I really like. I get it dirty. And I really like the vintage logo. Alrighty, 5K. Start in the parking lot. Go all the way around World Showcase. Even go past it and go by the Skyliner. Finish. This one's a little different because it's it, there aren't really any spectating spots for Sarah, so she'll be at the start line and the finish line, yeah. and she's getting a better track record this year. This race than, gonna, you than know, most races. I'm going to trust in my gut and not be like I'm always looking at my phone, and it always has a little bit of a delay. So here we got here's 10k, which is real close to the 5k. But this is a big. They just add that huge. And you go all the way around Crescent Lake. Oh, I didn't even realize that, that we're going around Crescent Lake. That's awesome. I think this is the one that is the most similar to last year. Yeah. Is the half marathon. Yeah. And then it'll take... The monorail? The monorail. The TTC. It should be. Yeah. Monorail, the TTC. See. Did you make it into the Magic Kingdom last year? I did for the full marathon. Oh, but not for half. That's right. Not for half. So you met me at TTC and then what? You head back? Yeah. Okay. That's still good. could probably get to Magic Kingdom. There's so enough. Maybe we'll make that call. Or if you want, maybe there's enough time for you to see me here yeah. and then walk over to Grand Floridian like you did during the marathon. And here's the big kahuna, the full marathon. I'm super excited for this. I think the beginning and end are kind of weird, but I like it. The biggest game changer. The biggest game changer is you go to Blizzard Beach and because you go to Blizzard Beach, they cut out all of Osceola Parkway and ESPN, which was mentally physically the bane of my existence last year. Yeah. Look at this. You come down this back road, you go in the Animal Kingdom, which is kind of weird because then you go up the same side and then you go back this way. So that's fun to see the other, other runners. You see the other runners and then you go this way, which right here you can't see the like Coronado's over here. So we'll see the Sino Tower. Cool. Run into Wilderness, or Blizzard Beach real quick. Leave. Oh, that's kind of Sino, I think. Leave and you're already at mile 23 to hit up studios. This is this, this is the nonsense that we were in last year. This yeah. is where I, I almost broke my Achilles. This is all this is what we did last year. Yeah. We left Animal Kingdom, went up Osceola Parkway, uphill the whole time, into this ridiculous path of nothing back up. That's gonna be much more fun. And then the finish line. I gotta figure out what I'll do. No, I also have to see what kind of buses are running because I rely on the monorail. So the first part. Okay. So, yeah. Can you it's believe time. it? You thought we were going home, eh? You thought I was staying in my same clothes. Eh? <laughs> what? It's still Christmas here? I had this whole plan to boost our spirits of today. I even brought a blanket for this picnic I wanted to have. But too dark, too cold. And too hungry. <laughs> yeah. Too hungry to go So instead, we are just going to eat our food in the Port Orleans Riverside dining hall. Maybe get a snack from the hall. Maybe. Alrighty, here's our random spread. <laughs> Your hot dog is chopped in half. I I got the sauce. The James anchovies. Really, man. All right. Props to the guy. He's singing Jimmy Buffett. But negative to the guy because it's not Yihabab or Mark. So 
so we can't hang out. But he did take his break by us. I saw him sitting, I, I thought he was looking like a strange fellow just sitting there scrolling by himself in the corner. And it ends up being the performer tonight. Wasted away. No, you're not about to say what I think you say, right? No, it's Pop Century. Alright, we are home and our goal is to be in bed in the next seven minutes to get at least five hours of sleep before we get back up. But that's five hours is good for the Brookharts. Right here I got my two bibs, same number, so follow us if you want. You can you can track us on rundisney.com. They got a website thing. Here are some gloves I got from Cigna, so I'll probably need those tomorrow. Luggage tag for doing the goofy because it's anniversary. Here's what we've all been waiting for. This year's shirts. So I got six of them because I'm doing four races and two challenges. I always love the, the armband. So here's the dopey. I like the green color. Dopey marathon weekend's like always long style. sleeve. So do I. Oh, look at the sleeve. Why the heck is the tree of life so tiny compared to the other ones? I don't know, but you're right. Goofy, Goofy it challenges a special anniversary 15 years. I just used that font on a long mirror line. I like the designs. Oh, that is, that is nice. And then all four parks again. And this is my color. Oh, and they have the parks on the front of this one. Cause it's only the two parks, I think for the, the half. Yeah, so there's the, the castle. And I like Space Burst a little bit of stylized here, but I love how they're different up here. Let's say it once, I'll say it again. These are not always the best quality shirts made though. Oh, the big guy. Red. That is quite a red shirt. Both 5K and 10K only go through Epcot. This is a cool one because was we actually go through Crescent Link. He was 5K. He got promoted. Then they bumped Minnie up to be the marathon with Mickey. And Pluto has returned. Because I think Pluto got bumped last year yeah. for Oswald. January 8th. The difference between an adventure and an ordeal is attitude. Bob, how do you say his last name? Bob Cratchit? No. Beechin? I'm gonna go with Beechin. I, I had a chunk of peppermint in that two pound bar. Here's the beginning of a great Dopey 2020. Yes. Caitlin and family, thank you for saying hi. Yes. Here's two, one step closer to the weekend, one step closer to IVF, one step closer to hopefully work, not driving me nuts. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We'll see you all in five hours. Are you ready for bed, Evers? Oh, uh, yeah. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.